It might not be as obvious in Olympic sports as physics or materials engineering, but math, from simple arithmetic to calculus, is part of every jump, every spin, every move the athletes make on snow or ice. Edward Berger, a professor in the Williams College Math Department, funded by the National Science Foundation, explains why math counts. The Winter Olympics, 2,500 athletes competing in 86 winter sports events to win 252 medals. And those are only the base numbers in the games. We see the numbers when we're looking at scores and measurements, but math is all around us whenever there's motion, whenever there's quantities. Like number of hockey players on the ice, number of times the puck goes into the net. Combine quantities, and that's where addition comes into play. Addition is only part of the arithmetic used to score figure skating. Each element is assigned points and judged on how well it's performed. A triple axle might be worth three points, a spin might be worth two points. Judges also rate the overall quality and artistry of the skater's program. There are nine judges, but the scores from only five will count. They throw out two of the judges' scores just by random. And then we throw out the high and low. And once they do that, then they average the remaining scores together. To find an average, you add up a list of items, in this case scores, then divide by the number of items, in this case five, to get the average, or mean. When all the averages are added up, the skater with the highest total wins the event. Any Winter Olympic sport that is timed, downhill slaloms, bobsled runs, speed skating, is math in motion. People are moving at a particular rate, and that's all mathematics. Rate is math slang for speed. Rate equals distance divided by time. Divide the distance of a race, 1,000 meters, for example, by the time it takes a short track speed skater, like five-time Olympic medalist Apollo Ono, to skate that distance, say, one minute, 24 seconds, or a total of 84 seconds, and you get the rate, 11.9 meters per second. That's 42.8 kilometers per hour. Or for those not on the metric system, 26.7 miles per hour. All the skaters started the race at zero kilometers or miles per hour. How did Ono win? Did he just skate faster than everybody else from the beginning? Asking who's going the fastest at the most fundamental level is really the question of calculus. Because calculus tries to understand not just velocities, but instantaneous velocities. Velocities at any one instant in time. One way to see that is a graph here of two speed skaters in a 5,000 meter race. So here's the mathematical view of it. Consider time, which I'll think of as the horizontal axis, and then we could think of distance away from the starting position in the vertical. So we have distance and time. Someone starts off a little bit slower and then accelerates. How would that look? It would be a little bit less steep and then increase or you could imagine someone sprinting out of the starting block and then tiring out, and that would look something like this. Really, really steep at the beginning, but then slowing down. The steeper the curve, the faster the speed. Calculus shows which skater is going how fast at what particular point in time in the race. Here we can look at the entire race from the beginning to the end, and we can make judgment calls. For example, is it better to sprint at the beginning, or is it better to actually start off a little slow, let everyone else get really, really cocky, the competition, and then at the, at the end, drive it up and win? And to be the first to cross the finish line. Lines are everywhere in the Olympics. Finish lines, sight lines, line segments and angles, especially in hockey. It's all geometry. It's all lines. You're measuring angles and angles of incidence and angles of reflection. On defense, hockey players try to move attackers off to the side, reducing the angle of access to the net. That angle just gets lower and lower and lower. He has less and less and less net, so his chances of scoring should be going down. So it's something in hockey that you know we're definitely using elementary geometry. Arithmetic, algebra, geometry, calculus. Math is all around us. Did you catch that? I hope you did.